This date paste looks absolutely amazing. It's a great flavor to add to desserts like this beautiful frozen banana maca milkshake. And this is maca right here. And what I love about maca is that it gives you a lot of great natural energy. It's a root vegetable from Peru, and you can find it in the health food store, but it tastes like a toasted nut. A little bit earthy, it's not bitter at all. And for this, we're gonna do four teaspoons of maca powder, a big pinch of salt, and we're just gonna mix it together. That looks really good. This is our caramel sauce. It's like this beautiful, sticky consistency. How great is that? All right. So we've got two bananas that have been sliced and frozen. This is one of our superhero ingredients for this recipe because when you freeze the banana slices, you get this creamy ice cream-like consistency. And now we're gonna add a vanilla bean. Slice it down the middle. We want the seeds, we don't want the pod. And with the back of a knife, you just wanna scrape it up. This is approximately 25,000 seeds. So that's 25,000 beautiful flavors of vanilla to add. And we need one more thing in here, and it's yogurt. You need one half cup, and then all you have to do is blend it up. And that's it. Our milkshake portion of our beautiful dessert is ready. Now it's time to assemble. On the bottom layer, we're gonna add a little bit of our milkshake, a big heaping spoonful of our caramel sauce, some bananas, more of our milkshake, another layer of our caramel sauce. Traditional caramel is a ton of sugar and heavy cream, so this is free of refined sugar and free of any cream. A few extra bananas. And our final touch, some toasted coconut. One last thing, just a little sprinkle of salt right on top. Doesn't this look amazing? Wow. That date caramel sauce is a total game changer because it's really sweet, but it's not that sugary sweet. It's a natural sweetener. It's all infused with that energizing maca powder. Give this a try. You will love it.